If you clicked on this video, you most likely fit into one of two categories. The first category being you got a really awful setup and you're just trying to make it less awful. Or the second category, you got a half decent setup and you're just trying to take it up a notch. Well, if you do happen to fit into either of those categories, you have came to the right place. Because I'm going to be showing you three tips that you can use to help build your dream gaming setup. So with that being said, let's hop into the video. Cable management. Let's be honest, we all saw this one coming. Cable management is the key to the perfect setup. Your setup could be a 10 out of 10, but if your cable management is trash, that 10 drops to a, a five. So to show you how important, here's an image of a gaming setup with trash cable management. Yeah, it sucks. But here is the exact same setup, but with better cable management. Yeah, it's a lot better, right? Notice how much more appealing this setup is with just a little bit of tidying up. So you're probably thinking, Tronxy, how can I cable manage my setup? Well, there are a couple ways. If I had to look at a guide, it'd probably be from TechSource or Gutsy8, and they make some really good guides. I'll briefly discuss what my two strategies would be. The first strategy is simple and easy. All you gotta do is head to Ikea. There's probably like racks on Amazon, but just pick up pick up a Signum rack or something. That's, that'll run you about like 20 bucks, and then you just need some cable clips or something like that. You'll also obviously need a power strip and some zip ties. Zip ties just make everything better. Oh, and by the way, all the products that I'll be talking about in this video will be linked down below, so if you'd like to cop them, go check it out. Oh, with $20, and like 10 minutes of your time, your rat's nest of what you call cable management will be fixed that easy. If you really wanna go crazy and just have this like nuts cable management, pick yourself up as many cable raceways that it takes to fill your closet. I'm not kidding, it takes a lot. You're also gonna want some cable clips, then just like dedicate about three hours of your day and just go to town. I, I don't recommend this method unless like you really want to. Besides spending three hours of your day cable managing until you want to cry, there's another con to this. Imagine like you get a nice new mouse, right? You're excited to like set it up. You look at your cable management. You have to do everything just to get one cable. So that's personally why I would not do this and I would just stick with the easy method. So yeah, cable management is very important. You're definitely going to want something and I would recommend the easy way. Color scheme. Have you ever seen a gaming setup like this? Yeah, it's not pretty. And if you're thinking, what's wrong with this setup? Then you got a lot to learn. So what makes this setup bad is its color scheme. There's not just one like main color, you know? There's just colors all over the place. You've got red here, green here, pink here. It's just not consistent. So if you really want your setup to look clean, don't do what this guy did. Setups with only one color tend to look a lot cleaner than setups with 36. If you're really feeling spicy, go for two colors. Two colors won't hurt anybody, but three will. Now, even if your setup only has one color, you're still not in the clear. There are a few colors that are just straight out trash. <coughs> green. Sorry to all the green lovers out there, but green is just not it in this setup. Like, what even is this garbage? Oh, also another really bad setup is red. You know, there's just something about red setups that just, it's not appealing, you know? Although white setups with just like a hint of red, aren't that bad what i'm trying to say is you just don't want too much red like look at this setup here there's just too much you, you don't want to be like this guy now that i've talked about colors i don't like let's talk about my top three favorite colors coming in at third place is orange orange is just such a cozy color and it really can make any setup feel cozy i actually had orange for like three four months and i liked it so it's good. Actually, my floodlights are both orange right now. Second place goes to Cyan. Cyan's just really clean, especially when paired with like white. I rocked that when I first got my PC and you know, it's pretty good. Just a touch of Cyan can really transform any setup. All right, and first place is white. You know, white is just such a clean, clean color, especially like with wood accents and then like a green wallpaper, like the one that there has been a like green monstera plant wallpaper on my echo show we'll just wait for it wait for it there it is right there it's just a really popular wallpaper looks really clean i would definitely go for that oh yeah it's not gonna be a section but wallpaper engine 399 is the best thing you can do to your setup so yeah color scheme can really make or break your setup oh and before i get into the next section which is personalization if this video has helped you out at all and you've found value in it, definitely hit that subscribe button. I'm just starting my YouTube channel and it would mean like a lot. Seriously. Thank you. All right. So personalization. Personalization plays a huge role in setups looks and like feel. You could have a boring plain setup like this right here, but what's the fun in that? 
There is zero personality or uniqueness from the setup at all. You want something that sets your setup apart from the rest. Whether it's some cool posters on your wall or an anime body pillow. Personalization is just something that's so easy and can really change your setup. But for some reason, people just don't do it. Say you like Star Wars, add a poster. You like Legos, add a set. Just small things like average things like this can set your setup apart from the rest. Just don't go overboard. Look at this setup here. This setup is just absolutely full. There's way too much personalization. Sometimes you just gotta chill. You gotta have, you know, a good in between. So this setup here, I'm also showing it in my thumbnail. This setup just has like a mix of everything I said throughout the whole video. It has a consistent color scheme. It has the perfect amount of personalization and it has cable management. So yeah, personalization is really important. That is a wrap for this video. I really hope you learned something that you can apply to your own setup. And if you did and you want to see more of this content, definitely hit a sub or even a like. They both would mean a lot. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Peace.